In March, electric vehicle battery startup StoreDot said it would produce battery cells that will be able to achieve a charge of 100 miles of range in just five minutes. The Israeli-based company has delivered. It's now shipping production-ready 100 in five EV cell samples to its strategic electric vehicle partners and potential car customers. I wonder if Tesla will get one. StoreDot has not disclosed who its partners are, but its strategic investors include Polestar, Mercedes-Benz, Winbase, BP, Samsung, and TDK. StoreDot, which is 10 years old, has raised $269 million at a valuation of $1.3 billion, according to investor website PitchBook via Reuters. The company completed a Series D round of funding earlier in 2022. This is a serious electric vehicle battery company. The 105 batteries are 3D H silicon anode Li push cells and they are shipped in EV form factor. Stordart asserts that its cell samples achieve 100 miles of range in five minutes consistently and without compromising battery cell. That was a quote, consistently and without compromising battery cell. Stordart is currently working on mass production readiness of its 100 in five cells with its manufacturing partner, EVE Energy in China. Stordart aims to begin mass production of the battery cells in 2022, 100 miles in five minutes of charging. Amir Tirosh, chief business officer at Stordart said the following. He said, our journey will not end there as we confidently continue with our strategic goal of providing 100 miles of range with just three minutes of charging in 2028 and in two minutes of charging within a decade. In early September 2021, Stordat announced that it produced the first 4680 cylindrical battery cell that it claims can charge in only 10 minutes. In November 2021, the company claimed it has become the first to produce XFC cells for electric vehicles on a mass production line. And in December 2021, Stordat announced new patented technology that uses a background repair mechanism to allow, allow battery cells to generate while they are in use. This will be great because battery charging time is one of the bottlenecks of um, adopting electric vehicles. People don't want to wait in long charging times. I was wondering if Tesla may be one of the customers. I'm sure someone at store that would be interested to send a sample to Tesla unless they're bound by contracts with their partners. I don't know, but I would like to see more Teslas and more electric cars charge at least 100 miles in five minutes or even in two minutes or even faster without compromising the health of the car's battery. Elon Musk just revealed his next major focus with Tesla, which is a good news. Musk said that he would be focusing on advancing Tesla service today. He can be counted on for a lot of things, including listening to valuable feedback from his customers. Austin Hinson shared a screenshot on Twitter of an appointment change by Tesla and pointed out that it wasn't fair that Tesla would charge him $100 to charge to change his appointment within 24 hours. His appointment had been scheduled for two weeks and Tesla suddenly changed the appointment. Elon Musk agreed with Austin and said that Tesla should credit owners $100 if Tesla changes appointments with less than 24 hours notice. Should be reciprocal. That's very interesting and sounds fair. Does it to you? The Tesla Techno King followed about with that tweet with a promise of putting a lot of time into advancing Tesla service. This is what he said. It's going to be his next focus. He said, I'm putting a lot of time personally into advancing Tesla service to make it awesome. Hopefully this is starting to be felt by Tesla owners. He said today on Twitter. If you are a Tesla owner, let me know if you have been feeling any change. Elon Musk has always been appreciative of feedback, especially critical feedback, which is important for customer satisfaction for any business. In 2021, he shared this thought and today continues to demonstrate the importance of listening to all types of feedback. By the way, we learned of another example of how Tesla listens to its customers today. Tesla will launch a supercharger voting poll platform that allows owners to choose future locations for superchargers. This was inspired by Elon Musk's alternativeness to the attendees of the Cyber Roundup. Here's another example. Another example of how Elon Musk listens to feedback from Tesla supporters was during the design of the Cybertruck. 
before its unveiling in 2019. Do you remember? K10 Twitter user shared an article on Medium explaining how thousands of comments from the Tesla community on Twitter helped Tesla design the Cybertruck, something she called fit for a hero. Here's what there was said. In June 2018, Elon Musk sent out a tweet asking the Twitter sphere what they would like to see in a truck. Needless to say, the suggestions came flooding, flooding with an astonishing 26,000 plus comments. And Elon definitely took note, Kristen wrote. Elon Musk has shown numerous times that he values important feedback and Austin's feedback was related to Tesla's customer service. Elon Musk may be the world's richest person, but that doesn't necessarily mean he is living large all the time. While he does have some modern amenities with high price tags, like his private jet for example, Musk made a life-changing decision to live more simply last year that has come as a surprise to many ever since. I think that's a very good decision and sign of humility. Musk downsized his life last summer to move into a $50,000 house located next to uh, SpaceX Starbase in Texas to move to uh, Incorporation Mode called Life Changing at the time. It's a story Murphy has covered since the beginning and it begins with the modular tiny house startup Boxable. In November 2020, Boxable co-founder Galliano Trimani announced the company had constructed and delivered a tiny house for a top secret customer. The location of the customer? Boca Chica, Texas, or the town in which SpaceX's Starbase is located. It was quite the reveal on its own, but if that wasn't enough, Duramani was seated beside a poster with a SpaceX rocket. Still, the news didn't exactly confirm suspicions that Musk lived at the location. However, a tweet from Musk six months later would further pique that interest. My primary house is literally a $50,000 house in Boca Chica Starbase that I rent from SpaceX. It's kind of awesome though, said Musk in a tweet in June 2021. As onlookers attempted to connect the dots, it only took a few months for one Texas resident to note Musk's life-changing move to downsize once again, noting the boxable rumor also almost uh, as if it were fact. And this time Musk responded, said, I've actually been living in a $50,000 house in South Texas for past two years, not boxable. Cool product though. Feels more homey to live in a small house, wrote Musk. So if he didn't live in the Boca Chica boxable, who did? The case would go cold for over a year and a half before Musk shared more details about his life situation on the full Send podcast in recent weeks. He said, I don't actually stay in the boxable. The house that I bought actually costs less a boxable. It was like $45,000 or something, Musk said on the podcast. But I've done a lot with the place. It's right next to the rocket factory. I can just literally walk to the rocket factory. Friends of mine can't believe I'm staying in this house. Musk simply used the boxable unit as a guest house, likely making him the secret customer after all and stays in an even cheaper modular tiny home when he is not busy traveling. Good example for many rich people that everything is not measured by money, right? And while he wouldn't reveal any more details about his own space, likely for his own security and safety, his notes about how much downgrading changed his life are perhaps even more telling.